You know, this afternoon we talked about the things that we're doing on the technology side to really change the landscape of the security industry, the cyber security industry that we work in. I also talked about the, the need for more professionals, and we've always had a really soft spot in our heart at Palo Alto Networks to really drive education. We do a lot of things for wounded warriors. We do uh, the Palo Alto Networks uh, Academy that, that today in roughly 200 universities around the world, we're teaching a, can you get that, please get that off the screen for me? This is really distracting me. That's a really weird look on Lee there. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Um, so, you know, we, we spend a lot of time trying to educate customers because we want our customers to be as smart as possible. And we know that there's this dramatic shortage. I talked about, you know, 3.5 million jobs that are, that are unfilled by 2021. And just right now, here in the US alone, we know that there's 2.5 million cybersecurity jobs that are unfilled. So we want to do even more about that, and I'm really excited to announce uh, a major partnership because if you look around the room, there's not a lot of diversity in this crowd, right? And, and being the father of two daughters, uh, I think we can do a lot more to help diversity in this uh, realm and, and to talk about a really exciting partnership that we're going to be announcing and blogging about today. I'd like to welcome Silvia Aceveda, who's the CEO of the Girl Scouts of America. Silvia, welcome. Thanks, Mark. It's just fantastic to have you here. I'm really so impressed that you could come here, and I'm really excited about our partnership. I wondered if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit more about uh, what we're going to be announcing today. Well, thank you very much, Mark. I'm pleased to be here. And, uh, you know, Girl Scouts, of the USA, you probably know us from our cookies. But something you probably don't know about is we are the largest girl leadership organization in America. We are in every single state and every single zip code. And you know, Girl Scouts has always focused on science, technology, engineering, math, since it's an exception. I know that when I was a young Girl Scouts, I got my interest in science and math from earning those badges. And I believed, and I got the courage and the confidence. So then I went and got my graduate engineering degree from Stanford, and I became a rocket scientist working at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab on the Voyager 2 and the Solar Polar missions. But it wasn't just me. 90% of all female astronauts that have been in space, they were Girl Scouts. And in Silicon Valley, 80% of the female leaders in Silicon Valley were Girl Scouts. So we know how to create that STEM pipeline. In the last two years, we've had over 1.8 million hands-on science activities. And when we talked to the girls, the number one thing they wanted to learn more about was computer science and cybersecurity. Amazing. This is great. Oh, that's just so fantastic. It's really inspiring to hear what you're doing to really change the lives of these young women that are uh, coming through you know, K through 12. Perhaps you can maybe double click on the cybersecurity interest if you want. Uh, it'd be really interesting to hear for this group. Yes, you know, the girls have told us this is what we're interested in. And we, as a Girl Scout, have the ability to scale nationally, to reach girls from the youngest ages. Our program started at five and go all the way and follow them through high school. We curate programs working with great experts from Palo Alto Networks to create the curriculum. So in the next year, we'll be creating the curriculum for the younger girls, and then the year after, we'll be, uh, have the curriculum for the older girls, reaching hundreds of thousands of girls across America, giving them this in the interest, the desire, to become cybersecurity experts in their own right. We already know that some of those girls have told us, you know, they're really interested in how to hack, but in a positive way. So we're really thinking, you know, let's have these girls who have courage, confidence, and character to make the world a better place do that with cybersecurity as well. Now, I understand there's an important role that mentors are going to play. Um, I, I'd love to volunteer my services. Oh, that would be great. You know, we would love to have um, all sorts of volunteers for this. You know, we teach girls the programming skills that they need, but the big thing that's different with Girl Scouts is we ask you to apply it. You can't just learn it in a static environment. You actually, to earn that important badge, you have to apply it, and we do that all under the guidance of mentors, those scientists, not necessarily those engineers, but those scientists who know um, how to teach them this particular interest in terms of cybersecurity. So we're absolutely thrilled with the partnership. We, too, see the numbers and the need for more women 
to be in these fields. So this work and this partnership, it's not just important, it matters, it's vital for the industry. Well, thank you again so much for this partnership. Well, I really appreciate it. We have one more thing for oh, you. Oh, awesome. All right, we noticed, we noticed that t-shirts were kind of a thing here <laughs> from your founder. So we have a t-shirt for you. Mark, it says, All right. man enough to be a Girl Scout. Ah, oh, awesome. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. In, in addition, just in the next few years with our partnership, hundreds of thousands of girls will be getting 18 badges, will be earning 18 badges in cybersecurity. Now this is my CEO patch. It tells my Girl Scout story of how I became a rocket scientist thanks to Girl Scouts. So it shows the uh, Jupiter because I did the Voyager 2 mission. And it's got my favorite math symbols, pi, infinity, and sigma, and also stars. But I wanted to present my patch to you as well. Oh, pi r squared. Thank you very much. <laughs> you bet. Thank you very <laughs> Thank much. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Sylvia Aceveda. Wow. What an honor. So this is a multi-year commitment from Palo Alto Networks, really, again, to change the outcomes of these young ladies' lives and hopefully add some diversities and get some you know, better, uh, better diversity in this, in this uh, rooms here in the future.